Hi everyone, it's Jessica, the Crafty Farmhouse Loving Mama. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to put some subway tiles around underneath my cabinets today on a budget. So if you're interested, keep watching. <music> of these amazing peel and stick subway tiles from the Dollar Tree. I went online and I purchased a whole case of them. You get 50 of them in the case so I figured that's going to be plenty for me and I will have some left over to use maybe on another project in my laundry room or something. So these are absolutely gorgeous. I love them. They're a white with gray grout in between. Self-adhesive wall tile. They are 12 by 12 inches, so it's perfect. And they're, they look like they're gonna be easy to cut. And it's so simple, you just open this up here. And I'm gonna do that to show you guys a little more up close. And they look so realistic. They're kind of bumped up. A little bit and um, recessed in between with the grout just like a real tile so I'm gonna go up close hopefully it focuses for you guys these are so pretty and I've been wanting to update our kitchen so as you can see here I've been painting and I'm just gonna be covering this up here and I've just been wanting to make our home into one that I love and I've been working really hard in between nap times and things to paint and update a little bit here and there. And so I'm going to get started on peeling these off and starting to stick them on and see how it turns out. Okay, so, so far I have two of the tiles and you just want to match them up as best as you can with the grout part. Um, and so I noticed that my cabinets were not built perfectly straight. I have a little bit of a gap here and a little bit of a gap here. So it would have been beneficial for me to have painted this whole thing. but. I'm just going to continue on and maybe touch up a little bit inside of there. Now I've come to this spot here where I just want it to go to the edge of the cabinets. So I'm going to place this like this so I can see about where it's going to go. And then I notice that if I just cut right on the edge of this grout line and all the way down, that that's going to be perfect. I'm going to go ahead and cut that to fit. Okay guys, so what I have decided I'm going to do is peel these back off and start this tile over here because once I cut it, it's raised up a little bit and I want it to have a nicer clean line on this edge and so that will be this over here so I'm gonna peel these back off 
and just rearrange this. They are very sticky and they peel off very easily. So I'm gonna show you how that is. So I'm just gonna peel these back off and I'm gonna start from the other edge so it looks a much cleaner line.
Okay, everybody, so I just wanted to do a little close-up of what I've got going so far. Um, I'm going to have to touch up here just a little bit with my paint. But as far as the tiles are going, it's super easy to put up. And what's really nice is they interlock with each other. And the sticky part is very sticky and it sticks on really well. And they're really easy to cut. I had to cut um, this corner piece here and they're really simple to cut. And so I just made a straight line and cut those. And um, then I can use this to piece together other parts. So this is what I've got so far here. I think it's looking really nice. And so as I've made my way to the sink here, I'm just going to need to cut some pieces um, to fit into here and go along here. I think what I'm gonna do along the entire bottom because the previous owners had gotten some yellow paint on top of the um, countertops here. So I think what I'll do is just go along with some gray caulking all the way around and that should finish it off really nicely and it'll cover up that yellow there and just go along there and um, do the caulking and I think that will make it even look more realistic and polished and finished off. But so far, I think it's really making a nice change here in my kitchen and updating things. I am really happy with it. So I'm gonna continue working here and cutting some pieces to fit along the bottom and then we'll see the before and afters. backsplash subway tiles from Dollar Tree here in my kitchen and I just wanted to do a final walkthrough and show you guys how it turned out. I'm really happy with it for the price. You can't beat Dollar Tree. I mean I only spent $25 doing this project and of course you can see where the tiles um, connect so in like areas like right here where it's supposed to be a complete tile, you can see that crease there where the 12 by 12 tiles butt up against each other. But for Dollar Tree products and for $1 a piece, I think it was totally worth it. I just did along the bottom, as you guys can see here, up above my countertop and I'm really happy with how it turned out and all I'm gonna do lastly is just put some caulking around the bottom and maybe along the sides just to make it more um, uniform and look a little bit more real but there is the final product and let me know what you guys think in the comments down below if you think this is something that you guys might use in your house and if you guys have seen them in your Dollar Trees near your home. So I hope you guys will subscribe for more tutorials and more projects like these and if you enjoyed it please give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below and make sure you share this video as well so you can um, show others how to make over your kitchen using Dollar Tree products. All right, I'll see you all very soon on the next video. Bye.